Reclaiming California's agricultural lands healthy and productive is a never-ending task which requires vast resources of knowledge and endless scientific research. In furthering such research, the University of California maintains a statewide agricultural experiment system which helps safeguard our golden harvest. Commonly known as CES, the Riverside Station is the world's largest center of subtropical horticultural research. Its scientists and technicians use an astounding variety of tools and methods in their many projects. A biotrome which regulates plant light and climate. Box cars which go nowhere. The electron microscope which magnifies up to 50,000 times. Radioactive isotopes, dangerous, but invaluable for modern research. One of the worst problems facing Southern California today is smog. It occurs in rural as well as metropolitan areas. An increasing liability to the Southland's economy Smog is caused principally by combustion byproducts. It is a physical as well as an economic irritant. In special smog chambers at Riverside, volunteers show the effects of artificially produced smog. A major concern is the effect on agriculture. To create smog for research, hydrocarbons and oxides of nitrogen in the yellow tanks are fed into a photochemical reactor which duplicates the effect of sunlight on smog compounds. The resultant smog is shown here, solidified at minus 112 degrees Fahrenheit. Separated into pure compounds, the smog is dispersed into plant fumigation chambers at concentrations which might actually be found in the atmosphere. Damaged plants are studied in relation to known pollution factors. Wherever practical, methods of protecting plant life are devised. Smog components produced by automobiles are collected at the source. Researchers have already cleared the way for new protective measures against this modern problem of smog, while at the same time, work continues on the many other problems involved in maintaining a healthy agriculture. But even more progress is in store for all of us, as scientists at the Citrus Experiment Station and scientists everywhere work tirelessly to make the good earth more bountiful and more pleasing to behold.